like to invite uh, Jim Bugenthal. Jim, John? join us. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, Diane. <clears throat> Diane and I have been having a discussion about existential humanist theory. Can you help us understand it? I'll try. Um, let me start with, you, as you said it, there was no article, not an or the existential humanistic theory. Yeah. It brings back, when I did my first book, I titled it The Search for Authenticity, The Existential Analytic Approach to Psychotherapy. And I sent it to my friend Rollo May for comments on the manuscript. And he gave me some very helpful comments, but he made one strong suggestion. Change the to an. Oh. An existential yeah. humanistic or an existential analytic. And the point being that there is no one existential humanistic. There are a lot of different takes on that. Yeah. And the one I speak from is usually uh, known as existential humanistic. It's sometimes called just existential and so on. Mm -hmm. we, we use existential to convey that the main focus of our concern is existence, the fact that we are, that we live, that we are aware of our living. Uh, we That's don't talk about a basic sex drive or a big drive for power or something like that. Those certainly exist, but they're not the core issue of life. The core issue of life is life itself. It's yeah. being. What are you doing with the fact you're alive? In a couple of minutes, we're going to watch you doing therapy. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us what your goals were as, as you uh, this was with met G with, with this? Gina. With Gina, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you talk My goals were the same in one sense, one sense yeah. with each person to help okay. be in tune with what Gina, in that case, was experiencing in the moment and to feed it back in such a way that she might have more choicefulness. Is there anything special that we should be looking for as we watch this video with you and Gina? Maybe you can kind of set it up. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, let me think just a minute. Mm -hmm. You might find it interesting to look at the difference between the verbal and the implicit, the explicit and the implicit. Since often what I'm trying to do is reflect that which is implicit, mm -hmm. okay. but very much present, but which the client, which any of us can't see, you know, for the three of us sitting here to suddenly stop and take note of how we are in this is a whole different matter than what we're doing. So what's Each implied. is useful. But okay. So we're looking for what's implied with, with the message, what's implied. With the attention to the implicit, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Not a, as opposed to, but in concert with the explicit. Okay. Well, why don't we go on and watch, uh, watch your work? Why don't we? Thank you. Good. Okay. 